Amen. Glory. Amen. It is wonderful. Excellent. Look like everything is working good tonight. Amen. And I'm coming on a little earlier than I normally come on tonight. Because I hadn't come on in a, in a, in a while now. I tried coming on last night, but for some reason, uh, they decided they want to work on the internet last night. So they knocked everybody off the, off the air last night. I wasn't the only one. There was the whole community knocked off the air on last night for the uh, internet because they were doing maintenance on the wires. So that's why we couldn't continue our broadcast last night. But, uh, but that's okay. We're back here tonight, and we're going to gonna continue. Amen. I'm going back with the same message. How you doing, Miss Gay? How you doing? God bless you. Amen. We're going back with the same message that we wanted to minister on last night, but we didn't get have the opportunity to do so. So we're going back with that same message tonight. Amen. Because I believe that there were, that, that, that that's uh, what, uh, that was in my heart, and, I, and I'm going to continue along that way today. Amen. And I want to say good evening to everyone. God bless you all and thank you all for joining us tonight. Amen. As we prepare this message. Father, we come to you now in the gracious and mighty name of Jesus. Now, Father, you know the heart of every man, woman, boy, and girl under the sound of my voice. And you know, Father, the needs that are represented in their lives. And I'm asking you now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would, oh, Father, oh, I sense your presence starting to fill the room right now. Oh, my God, I thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, friend, I'm telling you right now, his presence is starting to fill the room right now. Hallelujah. That's awesome. Thank you, Father. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of infirmity. How you doing? How you doing, John? God bless you, sir. Amen. And, and then, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease. Right now, we bind it up in Jesus' name. And, Father, we release the spirit of faith and healing to flow freely in this place. We thank you, Father, for the gifts of the spirit and manifestation, the fruits of the spirit and manifestation, we thank you, Father, for the love of God. Oh, Father, we thank you because of your love and your compassion towards your people. God, it is your will for us to be healed. It is your will for us to experience deliverance and be set free from the powers of darkness. So, Father, we believe that we receive now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen. If you agree with that, just say amen. Glory to God. Amen. What I am a... I'm so excited about today. I, like I was trying to let everyone know on yesterday, we just come from the, uh, the, a powerful conference, the School of Ministry in Orlando, Florida, where that hurricane was headed. Amen. And, and that, that hurricane was coming straight toward where we was at. And we, and, we, and we as ministers, we all just, we all fo- begin to focus on that, on that hurricane, begin to pray against it. Amen, and uh, it, it didn't come. It didn't come where we was. Amen, and so we were able to get out of there before they closed the airport down. We was able to get out of there. God blessed us to get out of there, my family and I. But there was a lot of people uh, that their planes were, their, their flights were all canceled, canceled. Uh, but our flight wasn't canceled because we got out a day earlier than uh, uh, maybe a couple days earlier than what we had anticipated on leaving. Amen. Because we were going to go to the conference. Then I was going to take my family around the, uh, and let them experience a little Disneyland. You know, we still got to be there for one day. Amen. Our first day there, we went over there and, and they got to experience that uh, the Disneyland, but not much as they wanted to. But that was enough. Amen. That was enough. Hallelujah. Include you guys in my prayers. Okay. We can do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, John, we need to talk. You need to, you need to uh, give me some information so I can reach you. Amen. We need to talk. I, I got I got some, I got a question for you. So uh, give me a way to contact you. Amen. And then I and I'll contact you in a few. When after after we finish the message. 
Amen. So, Father, we just thank you right now. I ask you that you would anoint every ear to hear, prepare every heart to receive, make my tongue as of a pen of a red writer, to write your word upon the hearts, upon the mind of your people, that they will know the truth, and that the truth shall make them free. And, Father, we covenant with you now that we're going to give you glory, honor, and praise, for it's in Jesus' mighty, majestic name we praise you and we thank you and we know that it is done now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, glory. Amen. Well, we're going to be talking about uh, God's healing power because, you know, uh, we know that because I believe that it, it, that God do want us healed. Amen. Do you believe the same thing? I believe that God does want us healed. And I believe that that uh, that healing is for today. And I want you to know that healing is still available. You may not. Yes, messenger. Good idea. Thank you. Amen. But a lot of people don't understand that the way of God is the way of faith. It's the way of the supernatural. It's the way of the spirit. Amen. So if we're going to flow in the spirit of God. We need to flow in the way that God intends for us to flow. And that's by faith. Amen. Everything that God has prepared for us to receive, folks, we're going to have to learn how to exercise faith. And we have to learn how to walk in that faith. Learn how to uh, demonstrate faith. Amen. By allowing the word of God to become a living reality in our heart. We need to take the word of God. And we need to just, we need to take the word of God. We need to just take a hold of it and not let go of it. Amen. Take a hold of it and not let go of it. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to encourage you tonight as we go through the lesson tonight. I want to encourage you just like, just like the blind bottom is. He, he, he knew what he wanted, but when he came before Jesus, Jesus act like he didn't know what the man wanted. <laughs> Jesus said, well, what, what can, what is it that you want me to do? Amen. And uh, anybody could look at him and tell that he was blind. He wanted, he wanted his eyes healed. Amen. But let's just look at the scripture. Let's go back to the book of Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Amen. Mark chapter 16. And let's look at verse. Glory to God. Mark chapter 16. Glory to his name. Glory to God. Mark chapter 16. No, excuse me. Mark chapter Mark chapter 10. Yeah, Mark chapter 10. Yeah, I appreciate that. Mark chapter 10. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. And Mark chapter 10, look at verse number, verse number 46. Amen. So uh, if my if I can get my wife to come in and take care of the little puppies, we'll be all right. Amen. They starting to act up in here. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So now in, in chapter 10 and verse number 46, Mark chapter 10, verse number 46, and it says, And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho, with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. Amen. Sit by the highway side begging. Glory to God. Now, 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 it, it. <laughs> all right all right our dog just had some puppies and they acting up in here my, my wife is taking care of them right now bring the mama dog back in amen that's good that's good wow <laughs> yeah Anyway, anyway, praise the Lord. Okay, they should be all right now. <laughs> oh, God. Boy, okay, praise the Lord. Amen. So now, <laughs> so now, uh, in Mark chapter 10, verse number 46, once again, 
uh, I believe we're going to be all right now. Amen. They, they're getting some milk now. They're going to be all right. Amen. Verse number four, six. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind by the mills, the son of Tamirs, sat by the highway side begging. Amen. Sit by the highway side begging. Glory to God. That's a, you know, we, we, we look at this, we think that, oh, uh, my God, how can people do, we see this all the time, people on the highway side begging, but these people, this man was blind. Amen. This man was blind. And knows what he, knows what he goes on to say here in uh, verse number 46, verse number 47. And when he had, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out loud. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. You know, God is so full of mercy and compassion that if we that are sick, we that are have need of, of, a, of a physician, we that have need of help and healing in our body, if we would just have the type of confidence that this blind man had, and you know, and, and, and most of us, we can see what's going on, but how many of us are actually calling upon the name of the Lord? Amen. We, that, 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 they're a dime a dozen. But if we would just begin to call upon the name of the Lord, I believe that we could get God's attention just like Blind Bartimaeus got his attention right here. Amen. Notice what it said, verse number 47 is uh, Mark chapter 10, verse 47. And when he had heard, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. Amen. Verse number 48. And verse number 48 says, And many charged him that they that he should hold his peace. Amen. But know what the scripture said. But he cried the more. A great deal. He cried the more a great deal. Amen. Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Amen. You see, I believe that this man being so determined to experience a touch from heaven, he knew that had he shut up, that the enemy would have had the victory over his situation. But notice what he said when they told him to be cried. He cried out the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. When you are going through sickness, when you are going through difficulties in your body, when situations is not lined up as the Bible said that they should, amen, then that gives you just cause, just like this man, this blind man, Barnum is. This gives you, this, this, this gives you a, a prime example on how you should cry out to God and when things are not going as you know they should be in your life. Amen. Blind bottom else, he couldn't see. But yet, he cried out. And when they told him to be quiet, the Bible said he cried.